called the airstrip. Air strip. This is it. You'll land right here, man. Work your way in here like we did before. Like one of those two buildings and we're going to work from the back from there. You see what's here? Mm. It's a good deal unless you pick me. You like, aren't you living on somebody else's property? Packard Henny Purse. Keep on going past that truck down there. You've got a much better memory than oh, I Oh, Marlin. They just keep on coming. Rambler Marlin. That's what everybody needs. Yep. Wow. Oh, they do. Jeez. Push, push a puller. Yeah. you got to be in a, a store and know Oh, there is, yeah. There's a lot of this. 914. Yeah. <laughs> Seems out of place. <laughs> Next to all the big truck. Cadillacs. I'm gonna pull down. I, did we go through them? We pulled down and got stuck down to the right. You don't want to pull down. At oh, the look at those planes back there. Yes, want to back I want to go over there and look at those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is I know. It's somebody, unbelievable. Actually. Some of these, the guy had to have been like, you know what? Screw it. I have a perfect spot for it, and I'm never gonna look at it. And you could use some money, sure. Like, I don't... There's a 59 I, Coupe de Ville. Yeah, I don't... He didn't... The tree store will. I mean, it's just... It's, it's, like it it's amazing. On, uh, but I think we can drive right out of here. Well, we tried last time. You can't often step over a bush wherever I can kick the bush. I'm going to hope you won't have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go way back where those planes are and go back out the gate and go back to the back. There's nothing really back there, but it's a bunch of... Uh, yeah, just old parts of the plane. None for middle. These boats, tractors. You want oh, to there's that drone he was talking about. You got your missile there, just in case. What the hell I do is a little fire. Oh, so I'm okay. It Stop. was a U.S. It was a U.S. military drone. Oh, that was the drone? Yeah, one of the first ones they used, and one of the first ones they used that had infrared cameras on it. Oh, I didn't hear that story. That's yeah, cool. it was get all the cars that run and put them all over there in the tent. I don't, I don't know, you know. So just park, park yeah. over on the lot. That looks like Chuck Wilkins. <laughs> we spent four to the car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's three different families standing around this digit home. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So it's just now starting to put the dash all back together. We got fresh gauges and all that. Shit. So you restore all these cars, or a good chunk of them anyway? We farm out. We do our own. You see the guy yeah. sitting there. I guess it's they're having lunch. Or screwing off. One of the other. <laughs> so, but anyway, you can see we got this is. The, all the stuff that goes to this car, like the saber wheels, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. anymore, as you know. Right. But that's okay, the original ahead. engine with a with serial the number on the block. Yes. So it's pretty neat old car. Here they said they didn't make, but it's a Copo car. It's a Copo car? Mm -hmm. Really? I was going to say, yeah, with the uh, hey, partner that jacked yeah. the story. No, this has got a uh, Z20 in the middle. Just drive what? We couldn't get the hood open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mmm, <Yeah>. Packard. <laughs> the Packard limousine. No division, but she's all there and solid. Well, 
And now it's another building. This is one of the phase. Pretty cool. Everything's brand new on it, even the engine, vintage air, all that stuff. Wow. Let's see, Unless now, who like was it that opened? A magician. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he had no expense spared, and then he had a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a little Yamaha. It's not an expensive guitar. It's like a $150. I didn't take a picture of this one. Sure. There you go. <laughs> Wow. The guy's yeah, trying to cool trade group. me. Got to Frisco, the Bay Area. It was a blast. <sighs> I'm that far back. 69. Yeah. Oh. Did it say it on the plate? No. It is what it is. Not too bad, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. they're not like a big expensive car. You know, no. But. Yeah. 78, yeah. yeah okay. Oh, and you got a cameo down there. Mark II Lincoln sitting here. Yeah. So, uh, baby cords in the day, about a 69 or 70, 8 tenths scale. Interesting. Exactly. This is the one to the right. <laughs> oh! That's a hard car to find Where anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a fuel injection. It's yeah. three tubes. It's a fuel yeah. injection from the trunk. Is it really? And it's got three tubes on it. We take it to those down there. Bucket seat, pull out radio. Yeah, tri power. There you go. Wow. I called the guy that makes emblems and stuff, and I said, hey, do you got an emblem for fuel injection for a 58 Bonneville? No. Are you sure? Somebody told me you had the prototype of it. You. Maybe. Let me look. He sent me, pretty soon I get this card, I mean this piece of plywood, and it's got the beautiful really injected emblems in it. Well, see, that's why you got to know where to go for this stuff, huh? Yeah. I'm like you, though. When you start at 19, you get to meet a lot of people. Brought that to a, that's <coughs> a quick stop. Wow. All right. <laughs> Yep. This thing is so sweet. <laughs> I knew we'd get the rock show the kids. Yeah. <laughs> See you. Just on and on. I had a guy that was kind of a materials man for 45 years. And he kind of kept everything fairly straight and he knew where everything was and all that. Well, we both got older and he sort of retired. And I said, Pete, where is that 421 Pontiac we build all up? And he goes, uh, it's under that table in there in the parts room with a canvas over it. Sure enough. Well, you know, you and I put that damn thing in there together. Why don't I remember that? That 64 Pontiac Grand Prix is a duplicate of the one I had when I was selling Pontiacs in Blythe, California. Wow. You already did this yesterday. Lasser got through with me. I'm a little bit spooked. I've been a rollover so far. Good on Christ. Yeah, it's good. Fifty-seven. Wow. Got everything on it. The air cleaner. So this is the first brome you're saying? Right. Handmade. That's the prototype right there. If you look on Cadillac line, yeah. you'll see that I, I'm, me and Cadillac's the only ones owned that car. See right there. It's 
says body number body one number. yeah trim number two five two paint number one two two yeah body number one there it is right there You call Cadillac and say, I want the bill sheets. I'm going to buy the bill sheets and stuff for buddy number one. And they go, you're about the fourth one that's called on that. We have very little. It was built in the studio, and we don't have very much on it. You try? Yes. And the guy sitting at the table from the factory said, you like them old cars? They told me to get that one out of the basement. Seven stories down. Seven stories. Down. I'm saying this rickety old damn thing, and I'm saying, you know, this summit's gonna break. No, it's fine. It's fine. We got down there, and I walked up to this car. It had some weird envelopes on it. He took them off. He shouldn't. But I think I'm high with it. Anyway, I'm looking at this car, and I'm like, what the hell? This is all kind of different. Yeah. And. So when I pulled that, got the hood open finally, I saw that body number one, I just closed it. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> and drove it home, huh? Yeah. Try something really, really skinny front wheels. Dragger. Oh, like that. You gotta look underneath that thing. It's prettier underneath than it is on top. <laughs> Connie convertible. Wow. 53 Corvette is right there. That's 54 other station easy. Well, if you can fix this, you can buy it for $1,000. How about 500 He said, no, 1000 I told you. Now he's getting pissy, so I, oop. So I gave him his 1000 right quick before he changed it. Pretty nice. What, is this a Auto Bianchi or what is, no, or a... Bianchina. B yeah, yeah, okay. You're pretty good. Yeah. Yes, I have. That used to set Blythe, California at the standard station. Okay. It was red, white, and blue in those days. <laughs> I used to bug him. I'd say, why don't you even sell me that little baby car? Ah, it's okay. It's just kind of a thing. One day I was in there and he said, you want that car? Today. Today's the day. See, there you go. There's the retractable hard top. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. But unfortunately, sometimes there's like 14 relays or in that, and sometimes one of them goes. Out. Yeah, it'd be rain, starting to rain, and they'd want to put the top up, and it get oh. caught like that. And it kind of sticks, and then it bends, and oh, oh, you know how to tell a '53 from '54 real quick. I read the tail light. Why? <laughs> no, that don't work. <laughs> Grabbing the grab the fender. If it's flat, the fenders are all flat. Oh, 53. okay. Uh, Round. They're fifty-four. They're fifty-four. Yeah. They learned, huh? They fixed the mold. Well, these things are rough. Oh they're yeah, they're done rough. Done with a chop gun. Wow. Water. Wow. But it's, it's, it's Pretty nice little car. It just needs what what number is this? Do you know? One seventy five. One seventy five at a three o five something like that. Yes. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred even. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. There's a split window on there. So you know what a glass car is? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Okay. That and the Wood Hill Wildfire. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot prettier than Wood Hill. Yeah, it is. You're right. Because it looks, they were trying to make an XK120, I think. Yeah. That's what they were doing. Wow. That's got the weirdest engine in it. It looks like a 409. But it's, uh, a, yeah. it's a 427 mystery engine. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. This 57 Thunderbird. Pretty nice. Yeah. Just a high high horsepower Yeah. It's not a blower or anything like that. Wow. It's nice. That's a good color on them, it always was. Oh, huh. bitch. What the hell? You can buy a body, yeah, but not a steel one. I wanted a steel one. Well. Oh, there you go. That's the seats. 
You're ahead of me, I forgot. In progress for the 57. 57 yeah. Bel Air, yeah. Okay, well, and this 53 Corvette, number 175. And, uh, hey, it's, it's certainly a need, but you know what? It's been preserved. It's sitting in here. While the paint is definitely gone, these were as good as the bodies were to begin with. Remember, that's the original engine. But the day you restore it, it's the day it starts down. But the interesting part, this one I've had since I was 19 years old. What, the 54? And I restored it about 30 years ago, and it still looks nice. It's there still are restored. Where are your on it? I said, I want it. Injected Maybe you can tell me. But the Corvette Club come out and they're the ones that pulled the tank down. When they got, I just, but anyway, it's got teak wood wheels, leather seats, knockoff wheels, yeah. exhaust, all that stuff. That's a special, see? You can. Slide this window back. Oh, for ventilation, yeah. Which was yeah, kind of rare, I guess. But it's all leather interior. Nice color. <laughs> Front bumper off scad. There you go. 54 Nomad. There's a Continental. Three convertible. There we go. Well, hey, they are complete. And then some. <laughs> Look at that. Convertibles. Oh, jeez. Fifty-three elbow yeah. with the parade boot. Well, everything from a hearse, trucks, tow trucks. <laughs>